Alrighty guys, what's going on today? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how to clean your KRK Rocket Studio monitors. Um, for those of you who don't know about KRK, KRK Systems began manufacturing our speakers, studio monitors back in about 2003. Um, we're now in 2020 and you are looking at the KRK G48s. The G4 stands for Generation 4, of course, and the 8 stands for 8-inch low-frequency driver. These are wonderful monitors, and uh, because they're wonderful monitors, I think that it's important to take care of them. And by taking care of them, I mean cleaning them <laughs> and just making sure they're clean and dust-free um, and, you know, just doing it every once in a while. Um, you know, monitors are, are very important. They're a very important part of your recording gear and pretty much just like any other sort of electronic or music equipment, they do need care and cleaning. Uh, if you have a recording studio, um, you should know how to clean your monitor so they can last for a really long time. And I kind of wanted to just go through, you know, the process of doing that and, uh, um, you know, how you can best do it and how you can make it easy. Um, so one thing to note is that you don't want to clean your studio monitor the wrong way. You don't want to use any sort of chemicals or water or anything like that because you could end up damaging your speakers altogether and actually just, you know, completely ruining them. Um, and so it's important that you have the right materials and that you're very careful. Um, one of the most important things to be careful about is cleaning your woofer cone. Um, and before you get to cleaning, you should probably know about the parts of a woofer. Um, there are pretty much five parts of the woofer. You have the woofer cone, which is this, the rubber surrounds, which are right here, the dome, and then inside you have the driver and the magnet. Um, now, the KRK Studio Monitors, uh, they're made out of Kevlar, these little woofers right here. Um, so it shouldn't really be an issue. This is really like nice, hard material, um, and they aren't going to get really damaged during the cleaning process if you're careful. Uh, there are other parts, though, however, that are, are more sensitive than the cones, um, and that is the rubber surrounds. The rubber surrounds uh, are the cone surroundings. These are kind of used as a shock absorber when the sound generates, uh, and the cone will move forward and backward. Um, they're usually made out of boot, uh, like a bootle rubber. Um, it's nice, it's flexible, it's durable, um, but you know you need to take extra care to not puncture it during the cleaning process, as again, you could ruin your speakers. Um, <clears throat> then you have the dome. The dome, they're uh, also probably the most sensitive part that you really need to be careful about uh, during your cleaning process. So just, again, make sure that when you're um, wiping everything down, um, you know, you go easy. Uh, there are a couple different methods to cleaning. Um, one of them is the cloth method. I prefer to use a microfiber cloth. Uh, if you have dust on your woofer, uh, you can use um, the microfiber cloth to clean them. Uh, you could also use it if you're going, you know, if you if you've noticed that maybe you have, um, you know, some sort of stain or sort of some fungus or something that's on your studio monitors, you can absolutely um, clean them just a, uh, with a little bit of water, super super light and damp, um, and just kind of go over it to get rid of that. This is great for people who live in, you know, um, maybe. Uh, areas that are really humid. Uh, there also is the vacuum cleaner method, and uh, that's one thing I really, really like. It's simple. Uh, if you have a, a nice and um, uh, soft, portable vacuum cleaner, you can just go in between these little cracks right here to get rid of that hard to reach dust. Um, and it's, it's great because it allows you to be a little bit more careful. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, just making sure that, you know, you have they're, that they're dust free, um, that they're grime free, and again, that's just going to help the materials last for a lot longer, and you're just going to have, uh, you know, better sounding studio monitors for years to come. All right, guys, if you have any other questions about uh, cleaning your KRK Rocket Studio monitors, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, take it easy.